Well, here we are, still in the same house, uh, nothing doing on the sale front, and I, I don't think that's going to change for quite some time. Possibly next April, maybe. Um, I just don't see it happening. So if you end up in a situation like me, uh, you need to be prepared for this, um, thinking things through long before anything happens. Where you're going to go, how you're going to survive. Um, you know, that, that breakup is difficult. Try your hardest in the relationship. Do everything you can to keep it going. Talk, 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 talk. You know, speak to your best friends. Um, but only your best friends. Don't make it widespread and talk to everybody. So my advice is to try as hard as you can because it is it's tough. And if you don't try hard enough and you regret it, then it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. So today let's talk about jackets. Um, now... Suit jackets, no, uh, they're not on the agenda today, so don't think you can wear a suit jacket as a blazer or so-called sports blazer or something like that. You can't, it just doesn't work. The thing is about a blazer, it, has, uh, it hasn't got a shiny surface, it's got texture to it normally, uh, you might have just outside pockets rather than inside pockets, it's variable, and the fit is much better. Fit is king, gentlemen. Don't buy something that looks great if it doesn't quite fit you properly. So, a sports jacket. Yeah. They are totally different. Now, wearing a blazer is not something you see that often, but it elevates you above others as you look more stylish. Um, it's not easy to be more stylish. You may get comments from your friends. If you suddenly appear different, uh, which you will be if you, if you want to look more stylish, of course, you're going to get comments. doesn't matter. You're going to be that much level above, okay? You're gonna look smarter, appear smarter, you're gonna look more intelligent, everything is gonna be better for you. And after a short period of time, they'll get used to you wearing these more stylish clothes. And I bet some of them start following your style and start dressing up and things like that, because they don't wanna be seen as a scruff guy in the group. So they're gonna do the same thing as well. If it's winter, you may need to wear a coat over the top of your blazer, obviously. So, you know, you might be restricted given the size of the coat. because so obviously, it'll have to be slightly bigger to accommodate the jacket. Um, let's say it's 15 degrees or above, you can certainly wear a jacket, uh, maybe with a, uh, a scarf, you know, properly tied around, around, around the top there, just to keep the chill off your neck. That works very well. Um, now, wearing a blazer can be from cool and casual, to smart and stylish, depending on your choice of trousers or shoes. So we're gonna start with casual, stylish. Um, we will do the same thing with chinos uh, at a slightly later date, just to show you the difference um, of what the look is. Now dark denim or medium wash denim go great with blazers, as does chinos, trousers, the combination is almost endless. So here's a few outfit ideas for you and if you like any of them or you want to copy it, that's great, do it. That's what I'm here for. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and we'll start the conversation. So here's a few choices for you. <clears throat> so here we have the first combination uh, to wear with uh, a very medium to light wash pair of jeans. Well, these are from Primark. Um, the tan shoes, which go very, very well, as you can see and the jacket, which is a cold dry jacket, um, but it's a blazer, nothing to do with the sun. Right, second jacket, again from TK Maxx. Had this quite a while, not worn it yet, uh, but I will do. It's a tan color. Uh, there's a little bit of lining, but it literally ends there. Uh, so it's very light. So this is ideal for summer, or very uh, late spring or something like that. Got the same shirt on, uh, same shoes and same jeans. So I'll try all this on with the darker wash jeans just to show you the difference and a different shirt shortly. Okay, the third jacket. Uh, again, this is a, a very fine cool dry jacket in a very dark navy. Um, it's got a couple of nice interesting lining bits on it, uh, which are quite smart. A bit more formal. I uh, probably need to wear a more formal shirt with this one. Comes with the, the pocket handkerchief. Again, uh, I think this one came from Ticker Max or Next, I, I can't recall to be quite honest. 
Again, I've had this a little while, I've not worn it that much, but I'm certainly going to be wearing it more often. Fits really well, and it's clearly a blazer, even though it's got this sort of pocket on it. Um, you certainly wouldn't wear this as a suit. Um, kept the same shoes on, obviously, and oh, it looks quite cool. Right, so this is the fourth jacket. I don't know if you can see, it's got a little bit of patination to it, so it's not flat. Um, it's got these pockets. Um, very, very, very comfortable. Fits very, very well. I've literally just purchased this. And I got it from somewhere that um, I wouldn't normally shop at. Uh, it was £90. And I bought it from Marks & Spencer's. Much more formal, will look much better with, a, with a, a nicer shirt, which I'll show you shortly, and probably with the dark jeans. Kept the same shoes on, obviously. Still a nice outfit. Right, so taking it up a level, much more for, formal light blue shirt, dark wash denim shoes, uh, denim jeans, and what I've done, I've changed out the uh, tan shoes uh, for a pair of brushed shoes just to keep it sort of casual obviously with the other shoes it's going to look more formal again good combination the right color belt to match up with the shoes that's really important whatever shoes you're wearing try and match the belt so this is the cool dry dark navy with the formal shirt. Just about works all right. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. The combination's good. Dark wash jeans, same shoes. I think that's pretty okay. I think I would prefer to wear a button down shirt though. Okay, so this is where you gotta get your combinations right. This jacket's fine with the jeans and the shoes, match up perfectly. The belt, obviously, as discussed. Slightly too formal, too light a coloured blue shirt. A dark blue shirt would look so much better with this jacket. And as you can see, this one's the same. Light blue is too much of a contrast between the two. Again, a darker shirt will be better. Something like this. Right, so here we have that same jacket with a darker shirt and it looks so much better. So you've sort of got a monochrome sort of look down the middle with accents of the jacket and of course the shoes. And funny enough, the shirt sort of matches the inside of the half lining on this jacket. Nice combination, looks good, looks very smart. So bring in the cool dry jacket, again, it goes. It's just so much better than the light shirt I had on earlier and the variant combinations. You know, Don't go too mad, you don't want too many colours. So this similarity here and the similarity between the jacket and the shoes is very important. Right, so just to show you, uh, with this dark navy Marks and Spencer's jacket, which is probably the best bit of all, it's just too much blue. So they're, they're two similar colours with the jeans, the jacket and the shirt. So it doesn't go as well, it, you haven't got a standout section in there apart from the shoes, which then look maybe slightly off. Again, just too much similar, in my opinion. What would be better would be a shirt that was lighter, like this. That would be a better combination, or the light blue shirt that I had on earlier. So there's a couple of examples of jackets, jeans, shoes, that you can work on yourself. Send me your pictures. I'm waiting for your comments. But for now, have fun, stay safe, and enjoy life. Goodbye.